So this is a little video of how I made Cosmo's face. Possibly the first synthesizer with a face. Which I may be wrong about, please correct me if that's the case. And we're not including Short Circuit when he sings. That is just a crazy film, but yeah. The face actually only cost 40 quid. So here we go, a trip down to the joke shop and get a joke nose and some chattering teeth. And then we get some scrap wood and cut a little chunk of it off to use as the base plate for the skull. This is where the teeth connect to and the servos that twist around the eyeballs. Now it's a case of finding some scrap metal that you can bend into a semicircle. This will act as the mount for the eyes. Now you find an axle. I used a very long bolt, which is gonna go straight through the middle of the ping pong ball which is gonna hold it and let it spin around like that. Now it's a case of making it up as you go. I found some nuts that went and fit on the bolt, so I kind of made it like that. It looks quite nice and I was lucky enough to find enough for two. So it's two eyeballs. Now it's a case of mounting them onto these really cheap servos. It's very easy. I found it as easy as to use super glue to stick them on because they're so cheap. Now it's a case of wiring it up to the Teensy or Arduino and using the servo tutorial code. It's really that easy. And they spin like that. It was very easy. I thought it was going to be hard and I was very wrong. A bit more super glue here and there and these servos are going to make the eyes go up and down. And these are connected to the eyes with bits of cable tie. Yes, I was stuck for ideas and these just made sense. So they're going to go on like that. I'm going to drill a little hole into the cable tie so I can actually screw it using the servo screws that were supplied. And then it was a case of working out how the heck am I going to stick it to the eyeball. I went for super glue, but super glue was a bad idea. As you can see there, it just didn't work at all because the eye needs to spin. So it was a case of finding the center point of the eyeball and then screwing it into the top so then it would spin as well as going up and down without any problems. Look at that! Animatronic eyes made out of stuff from around the house. These servos are literally about one or two pounds each. So you can make this for really, really cheap. Now I drilled some holes so I can put a couple more chunks of wood on the bottom and these are gonna make space so the mouth can chomp and chomp away whilst the eyes are going crazy and you don't have to hold it. Look at that, it's a nice little pair of legs for those eyes, but they're not going anywhere. They're not running anywhere because I'm gonna drill these chattering teeth and screw them straight to the bottom of that bit of wood. Lovely. And hopefully if it goes to plan after I clip this in, Cosmo will be able to chomp and chomp away without any worries. Now I just super glued another servo behind the mouth and I was gonna connect these straight to the mouth. So when it pushes back and forth, it opens the mouth up and down. Used a bit more cable tie. Cable ties are really good because they're just the right amount of rigid and flexible. Look at it go. This is still just a servo tutorial code from Arduino. It's really simple. And now I screwed a bit in the middle and this is for the eyebrow part. This actual part didn't actually make it into the final piece because that was a very bad idea. And then these eyebrows, they looked a bit rubbish, but I didn't realize until the whole thing was put together. So just deal with it. So lo and behold, the actual cranium of the machine is pretty much done. It's literally made from scrap wood, 10 quid's worth of servos, 99p's worth of ping pong balls, and three quid's worth of clattering teeth. I'm pretty amazed. I think the next step is to cut the holes in the panel so it fits behind it and then I can work out all the electronics. Okay, so I've blown my cover. I have no idea what I'm doing and I'm making it up as I go, but let's keep on going. I'm measuring out whereabouts these holes should go and then drill, 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 drill in the way. I'm kind of starting to make holes so I can cut it up with a hacksaw. Uh, I haven't got any better tools. This is the only way that made sense. So yeah, deal with it. Deal with it. Whoa. Look, he looks like a chainsaw murderer or something. That is messed up. That is the most worrying look I've ever seen. Right, it's a case of drilling more holes for the potentiometers and the jacks so I can plug stuff in and twist knobs. And now it's time to fur it up with a hot glue gun and kind of pressing it down as you go, making sure it's nice and stuck on there. So I've just come up against an issue. The holes are big enough with the, without the fur, but with the fur, uh, well, you can't see shit. So I'm gonna give this a shave. Bet you thought you'd never see clippers being used to make a synthesizer. 
Okay, so he's now back from the barbers, and now we gotta put his face back on. With a bit of screws to stick it into the cranium like that, and oh my god, that is so damn creepy. I don't think that's ever gonna get old. Now it's time to make the eyelids. I made them out of scrap bits of strip board and then super glued some more uh, fur onto it. Really cheap, just scrap stuff from around the place. These kind of double up as eyelids and eyebrows. Now it's time to pop in all of that lovely electronic gubbins. Time to get over to the circuit board. This is a Teensy 3.2, which is like an Arduino on steroids. I couldn't use an Arduino because I needed more pulse width modulation pins. And it just so happens that the Teensy has a lot more of all of this stuff. I would recommend the Teensy over the Arduino if you've got an extra fiver or something. Definitely, it's got loads of stuff. But this is now time to make the circuit. If you want to know more about this circuit, I'm writing a zine on the circuit as we speak and it should be up in the in a week or so on the Patreon. So basically it's got little chips and these chips are mixing together the voltages from the control voltage and the knobs. So you're able to control it with the knobs and the voltage. So it's that easy. Now it's time a case of sticking that lovely circuit board onto the back and then wiring the circuit board to all the bits on the panel. Oh, how the time flies by. Now you just gotta connect the servos and you're done. Don't forget to watch the full video on Cosmo's face and there will be more information on its way this week on my Patreon and website, as well as some audio thingies. Anyway, enough of this cheers jazz. Play me out, pressure point.